Hey guys, it's Coco bringing you the best tips, tricks, and tutorials to make having fun affordable. And in today's video, I wanted to do something a little different and make this a series called What the Fact Fridays. In this video series, I just want to tackle any frequently asked questions that you guys have either DM'd me or have put in comments of videos and kind of group them together, uh, group them together by related topic, and then at least try and answer a handful so um, so you guys get your questions answered, I get to share my knowledge, and then hopefully sharing my knowledge will help you guys on your DIY journey. So, let's get started. So, um, first is what is a 260? So a 260 is skinnier balloons that you see some balloon artists, um, some balloon artists use to tie their clusters together build their garland bases or um, just use to attach fillers. So this is a 260 balloon. There are also 160s, which are com commonly used for making balloon animals. And then there's 360s, which are a little thicker. So the one in 160 is just one inch by 60 inches. So that's the, the capacity that it could stretch to. 260, two inches by 60, and then 360 is three inches by 60. So um, most commonly used are the 260 balloons to either, you know, build and attach when you're building balloon garlands. So my first question here is, do you have an electro pump suggestion for 260 Q balloons? I have in the past used a balloon blower like this, a uh, hand pump. Um, these are very cheap to find. You can find them in a local party store. You can buy them on Amazon. These are very, sometimes on Amazon they come in like a two pack, which is very helpful. Um, these are not, um, these take a lot of hand power. So if you are um, just trying to blow up, you don't have electricity and you're just trying to blow up a few balloons um, on location while you're building your garland, these are perfect to have in your toolbox. Um, if you are blowing up your balloons ahead of time, I always suggest using an electric pump because it will be a lot quicker. Now this electric pump I got off Amazon. Um, I'll put the name in the description. But this one I think is very, very, like it's perfect for 260s. It's perfect for five inch balloons because the two nozzles that it comes with are very small. This can also be used for blowing up any what are those things? Inflatables, like pool inflatables and stuff. So I really like this. It does, it is a little slower, but being that you're not really blowing up the 260s, if you're building a balloon garland, it's fine. If you're just making like little spirals or whatever, it's fine because you're not using a lot of air anyway to blow those up. So I think this size, you know, single blower, oops, <laughs> the plug came out. Um, is fine so um, I highly recommend this the other one is um, you can also get a actually you can also get a precision blower those are a little more expensive but you have this the different nozzles and settings to blow up your balloons um, to a certain capacity and you and you can uh, regulate how much air is going in um, then I also have these paint one of these pink ones these you can also find it on Amazon or different party party supply stores they have the extra nozzles to attach and twist on and then these are good for 260s as well but I normally don't blow up my 260s for any reason um, I haven't had to use them as little spiral decor so um, I would actually suggest this because the nozzle is a little more narrow and you're not stretching the neck but there's that <laughs> <clears throat> next question do you need a balloon blower if you buy a balloon kit why would anyone buy one if they didn't have the machine air thing so yeah I wouldn't first of all disclaimer I wouldn't buy a balloon kit <laughs> I wouldn't buy a balloon kit unless it was like from an actual balloon artists like that's what that person does for a living a lot of the balloon kits that you see on Amazon are um, 
are coming from overseas and they're not really good. The quality of the balloons aren't good and the, um, the quantity of the balloons aren't good. So I don't normally buy balloon kits. I don't even buy balloon kits from like Michael's or Party City or anything like that. Cause still, I still don't feel like they are, they're not, they don't specialize in balloons. So I'm not gonna buy a balloon kit from someone who doesn't specialize in balloons. It's kind of like, you're not gonna buy power tools from a bakery. Just saying. Um, so, but if you are buying a balloon kit, I do suggest getting one of the machines that I mentioned because it will make it a lot faster. I remember, um, I remember talking to someone, uh, <laughs> this guy was, um, was helping his wife. Uh, they were doing a baby shower for his wife and he didn't even know that balloon electric pumps existed and they blew up all the balloons and they got halfway, they bought a kit from Amazon. They got halfway through the kit because um, they were blowing everything up by their mouths and then they just said, screw it. <laughs> so, um, so when he told me that story, I was like, why don't you just go buy like these, these, this thing right here is like the best thing ever. It's like $30, $40, just buy it. I mean, if you think, if your kids, if, if you go to a lot of kids parties or you're always having balloons at kids parties, even if it's just 25 balloons, you don't want to blow those up by your mouth. Like, trust me, it's, you're going to get lightheaded. How much are balloon kits? So if you are going the route, like I said before, I don't believe in balloon kits, but if you are going that route, there are some really cheap ones that you could buy on Amazon for like as low as $16. There's some that go up to $40. Um, if I had to recommend balloon kits, I would suggest like going on Etsy because normally those people are actually balloon artists. Um, so I would just kind of look at their social media and see if they have any videos of them actually using the kits that they're selling because a lot of times, uh, the ones on Amazon, those people don't use those kits. They just, they're literally just selling them for cheap. Um, and then... I think that's it as far as these this set of questions. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, hit the like, subscribe, and get the notifications because I am going to be doing this every Friday, the What the Fact segment, um, just a little short video so you guys can get your questions answered. See you in the next one. Stay crafty.